nom, nom, nom. Good morning. I am Barrett, and welcome to another episode of What a Twist. For today's first entry, it's a Spanish horror movie I watched. It came out in 2020. Its rating is TV Mature, and its running time is an hour and a half, or just a little bit over an hour and a half. It's called Don't Listen, and here's the trailer for it. So it's like this boy and his and his parents. So the family is in this house, and the dad is renovating it or fixing it. It's like they're trying to flip it if if memory serves. And tragedy befalls them, and their son uh, dies. And all of a sudden, the dad starts hearing shit and seeing things, and you know starts to to freak everybody everybody concerned is getting pretty freaked out i mean as far as as far as horror movies go i mean it wasn't it wasn't bad this was you know it made me jump once or twice uh, but i mean it wasn't great either uh, i watched it in spanish with the english uh subtitles uh you might decide to watch it in english dubbed uh, i'm not too sure how much that affects how good the movie is but i'm sure it'll be fine if my boy really needs help i'm willing to do whatever it takes Oogity. yeah this wasn't bad i kind of didn't in- i kind of enjoyed it yeah there was an interesting twist at the end. Eric? Eric! Them right now. <laughs> and there you go. All right, that was the trailer for Don't Listen. I mean, on a scale of one to 10, like I said, it wasn't good. It wasn't bad. It was just, it was an average average show. I, I, I'd give it about a 5, maybe a 6 out of 10. So, I mean, if you feel like what... Like, like, like I said, it, it made me jump a couple of times. It was, it was creepy and eerie. Like, I mean, it had things going for it. But I've seen the kind of show a million times before and, 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 done, and done better and definitely done worse. But it's up to you if you want to watch it. I hope you do. Our second entry for today is a series set in Greenland. Uh, So I think they're a property of Denmark. So maybe it's all in Danish. I'm not too sure. Uh, It's called Katla. All about this volcano erupting and some really trippy shit happening. Here's the season one trailer for it. Here we go. So a lot of the people of this one village have been evacuated and there's just some geologists and other scientists. Uh, there's uh, uh, like a sheriff, I suppose, or a, you know, a constable. Uh, there's other people there as well, you know, some search and rescue people and, and whatnot. But this volcano is, has been erupting and then all of a sudden, from out of nowhere, people that have disappeared or have been presumed dead suddenly start reappearing. In one case, there's a woman uh, who's still alive and in her like 50s, but her 20 year old self has shown up out of the blue and is claiming to be her and everybody's confused. Nobody knows what the fuck is going on. I really liked it. I thought it was a really fucking, I I don't know, like, what's the word I want to use? Like, it wasn't scary or anything like that, but it was was kind of creepy. It it, it kept me really entertained. Sorry, I'm watching the trailer with you guys here. Really good visuals, good acting. Like there's a husband and a wife who have lost their son uh, in a tragic accident. And now all of a sudden he's popped up walking around going, hey mom, hey dad. And the parents are like, what the fuck? I really hope there's another season to this, to this show. Catla 
was quite easily one of the best shows I watched last year. Like, honest to God, it was. Like, it was a nice slow burn. It doesn't have to be all bang, bang, boom, boom with crazy CGI for me to enjoy it. You know, uh, this series nailed it. It was it was awesome in my eyes. And I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I liked it that much. And I highly, highly recommend it. It's It's got some nudity. There's a lot of swearing. There's no real graphic or gory violence, but some really, really weird, awkward situations uh, are in it. So, yeah, I guess it's up to you if you uh, if you want to watch it. But I would I would say go for it. It was amazing. I loved it. And that's it for this episode of What a Twist. Thanks for watching. If you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. And if you ever want to reach out with a question, a comment, or a recommendation, I would love to hear from you. All right. You can, well, do it on Facebook. You can do it in the comment section here on uh, on YouTube. Or you can go to our email address. It's entertainmentonhigh at gmail.com. And I'd love to hear from you, all right? Have a great day. Mm -hmm.